four. What's up guys, Brandon Johnson here again and thanks for joining. Today we're taking a look at the classic old time fiddle tune, Bill Cheetah. This is a great song to know, it combines some interesting aspects, some lead playing, some cross picking, and some really cool three note chords in there in the B part. And this particular version is based off of the Doc Watson version and I know there's a couple different variations out there on how to play this song. We're playing this out of capo 2 and we're playing it out of the G major chord position. So it's a great one to know, it's a great one to add to your repertoire. I hope you enjoy this one. Let's check it out. Okay, let's take a look at Bill Cheatham now. So this song has an A-A-B-B form, which means the A part is repeated and the B part is repeated. So let's take a look at measure number one here. So we have open G on a downstroke, and then we have a two note chord, which is gonna be third fret G and second fret G. And then we're gonna slide that up a half a step or one fret. So it's fourth fret G and third fret B. So the timing of this is important here, but we're gonna be playing two downstrokes in a row. And then we're going to have a rest and we're going to have another downstroke on that same chord. Okay, so that's just kind of, you know, the beginning. It's not really a pickup measure in the sense that, you know, it's in, a, it's in a, its own measure before the song actually starts. This pickup is actually going to be in the first measure. Okay, so right after we play that little pickup, we're going to get back into this C major position here. And we're going to start on 2nd fret G to open G. Essentially what that is, is that's, that's a C major scale that we're kind of descending over. And even though we're playing over a G major chord here in measure number 1, we're going into a C in measure number two, and that's why we're able to play notes out of the C major scale, because we're about to go into a C, so your ear kind of leads naturally into that C major chord. And that leads us into measure number two. Okay, so on measure number two here, we're playing over a C major chord, and we're gonna let we're gonna start this measure out on third fret A, which is the root note of the C major chord. Of course, we're playing the C major position because we're actually capoed up two here, but we're just gonna pretend like this is the C major chord. So that third fret A is going to be the root note of the C major chord. So we're going to start on a downstroke on that third fret A, and you're going to want to hold the C major chord. And then we're going to play two upstrokes on the first fret B and the open G. And we're going to hit that downstroke on the second fret D. That's just, you know, we're just kind of cross-picking over that C major chord. And there's some real cross-picking there. We're actually skipping over the G string there. So really in this, you know, this kind of cross-picking, you're, you're emphasizing the upstrokes. 
So anytime you hit that first fret B, it's going to be on an upstroke. Okay, and after that little cross picking pattern there, we're going to go to the open high E and we're going to play a little bit of a descending run. It's going to lead back into a G major chord in measure number three. I'm kind of just playing this with my index finger and my middle finger. Okay, let's play measures one and two all the way through to the metronome. One, two, three, four, two, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, two, two, three, four. Okay, and that brings us into measure number three. Okay, so looking at measure number three now, you'll notice that measure number three and measure number one are nearly identical. The only difference there is that instead of playing that kind of that two note chord slide up, we're just going to do a single string slide up. So we're just sliding up on the G string here and we're starting with an open G on a down stroke. Okay, so I'm doing an open G and then second fret G to fourth fret G slide and then an upstroke on an open B. And I'm actually playing this with my middle finger and I'm doing that so that when I go into that run that we have in measure number one and measure number three, which is over that C major scale, I'm starting that with my middle finger. So that second fret G to open G is going to be with my middle finger. play the same thing that we did in measure number one, that two note chord slide up, but I think the single string slide up just creates a little bit of contrast because that way the two measures aren't exactly identical. So let's take a look at measure number four now. Okay, so looking at measure number four now, you'll notice the chords are a little bit different here. So we have we have a chord change on each quarter note here. So we have a G, a C, a D, and a G. And we're, this is kind of like, you know, a turnaround lick. So it, it gives the ear the impression that you're going to kind of either start the form over. If you're, if you're just reaching this point for the first time, you're going to hit that repeat sign and you're going to play all four measures again. Or if, you've, if you're just arriving here the second time through, then you're going to go into part B. Either way, it gives it kind of a turnaround feel and it has a real kind of classic bluegrass turnaround feel here that we that we start on the B string. So we're going to start on the B string on the open B to 1 to 3 to 3. So we actually have two third fret Bs that, that are going to be there. And there's a number of ways you can play this, but um, you know, I was watching Doc Watson play the song and he actually does the, the double the double stroke there. This is all alternating picking here all the way through this measure. That third fret B, I'm going to play with my ring finger. Index. right there, kind of at the end of this measure here, when I go to that third fret B to open, and then that second fret G to open B, I'm switching. So I'm playing on that third fret B, I'm playing with my middle finger, and then the second fret G, I'm playing with my index finger. 
kind of switching fingers there. You don't have to do it that way. You could just do it with one finger. So just experiment with that a little bit and find find a way that's comfortable for you. But I just tend to, to do it with the two fingers. And that way I don't have to physically move my hand. If I was doing it with just one finger, I'd actually have to move my hand slightly and, you know, it's not a big deal, but just something to think about. All right, so let's play measures three and four now, all the way through to the metronome. One, two, three, four, two, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, two, two, three, four. Okay, and that leads us into part B. Mm -hmm. 